Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Books and Betches. Not to be confused with books and subscribe to us. Oh, my God. I'm Kristen, and with me I have... <laughs> subscribe to our channel. That's Erica. Maria. All books right. and Betches. Oh, that was great. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay. That was good. Little so AI. Maria did call <laughs> out. Maria called out that we haven't been... By we, I mean I, because I guess I lead the You're intro. Not, every, not everyone listens to the whole episode, and Kristen always calls it out at the end to subscribe to us, and we need more subscribers because... We don't need more subscribers, we need but them. it would be nice. We need them. So if you're listening nice. or you're, you, you want to watch this podcast, you can go over to YouTube and subscribe to us, Books and Betches. Just look us up. You know what I think about all the time? <sighs> no. Is how many people Do you like... Think? I don't know. If you she <laughs> does think. All she does is think. Are <laughs> sure. I don't want to say scammers, but like they like try to scam you into like doing something like... You need to follow me because X, Y, like this will help my fam. That's what a lot of the mom like um, TikTokers do. They're like, if you like, like, follow and like comment, like you'll be like helping feed my family. Oh, boy. That's, That's where we're at. Huh? That's where we're at. So I'll say that you're Everybody's helping. You're, helping you're not feed helping our anything because there's no, this yeah, we don't, makes no we money We just do for this us. for fun. So if you don't want to subscribe. That's I'm just fine. kidding. I'm just trying to be well dramatic. She's being facetious. <laughs> yeah. I love that word. <laughs> Me too. Um, all right. This is a book podcast. We swear we spoil. We talk about sex. We suck at it. And um, but this week we're doing another topic. So it's not on a specific <gasps> yeah. book. Um, well, it's about it's about books, book tropes. It is about books. Uh, Maria, what is the topic? Uh, tropes that we go feral for. This is a very catchy title I came up with. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I go feral for anything. But there, I feel like I do book related yeah book related obviously what do i feel I like you're gonna for? be very i feel like you're not gonna be able to differentiate like tropes genres, genres and, yes. and, yeah. and tropes so all right at the I've, top of I've, this I've, can I've we bring <laughs> a couple things down to like sort of like get us going in a way but i also wanted to have us as a piggyback or a little jump start a jump pad to the conversation of are we being marketed actual plots or just tropes so can like we talk about the difference between all of these things okay what's a genre that's the overall, overall. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. What's a genre, Erica? Give me a working definition. Genre Without using the is, word genre. Is a like, so it's a, a category of types of books. Okay. Okay. Yep. What's a subgenre? A subgenre. We went through that whole thing. Mm -mm. Is, mm -mm. is another like filtered out category of, of the genre, right? Yep. And it, it, it slices it down a little bit smaller okay what's the plot more niche what's the plot what's a plot a plot is let her do it the i want to see if she can <laughs> i guess like the description of like the actions within the book okay okay yeah what's a the main events trope. of a play novel movie or some the main events yeah that's what i was thinking of events. what's a trope a trope is a device that is used within the storytelling of a story in order to like, I don't know, it's like a common, it's a common device that's used in storytelling based off of the genre. Typically. Last one. What's a theme? You did great. A plot device or character attribute that is used so commonly in the genre that it's been a commonplace or conventional. Last yeah. one. What's a theme? The theme is usually like some hidden message or meaning within the the story. The underlying message. Damn, you're doing Fuck you're yeah, so Erica. Good. See, the I was fact checking. I just the same wanted time. to set her up for success. That was awesome. Good job. You do go you now. Do if job. you're a student, go ahead and clip that, and you <laughs> have your study material. Well, not for rosary. nothing. I'm pretty. I'm okay. a pretty, pretty well uh, seasoned author. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, is she? Do you write the no. Green Man book yet? Fuck you. <laughs> We are writing that together. Yeah. Did you write that other book that you messaged no. us about? She, I've been, she got the I've idea. Been writing, I've been writing a bunch of it, but I haven't like. That's awesome. I can't wait to read it. Um. All right. So. Plot. Tropes. So. Oh, uh, tropes. Ideas yeah. of tropes. I'm going to say like grumpy sunshine. Uh -huh. Enemies to lovers. Those are kind of like big, big overarching. Like the big romance. overarching ones. Um, like, romance yeah. specifically. But like romance? the chosen no, one. Oh, okay. Chosen Trope. ones of common fantasy. Stuff like trope. that. Got it. So my question that I was posing at the beginning of, on, on top of what we can talk about tropes we like is do we think, especially in the romance world as someone who reads a lot of romance, that we are fed more tropes than we are plot? No, I think, I think people have... In the romance world? Tropes. I think people I think so have clung to this like thought theory that like 
tropes have taken over tropes yes. have always been prevalent if you Correct. read but what i'm so saying way is, more prevalent now. but i'm saying the way that they're marketing might be a little bit yes. different the, i'm talking about marketing is but specifically people have always wanted or the, the tropes exist because they've always been there right so See, whether or not they're enough. there but what i'm that. saying what i've been seeing right and especially like in the last I think it just makes year it easier or two for me to pick a book for sure <laughs> but what i'm saying is i feel like a lot of books that I've read, it mm-hmm. is they are the tropes are decided first. Yes, and the plot is built second. I how do you could know not that, agree more. I don't know that by like that's a that's a it's we an don't opinion. know that it's an opinion. I just feel it in my it bones. Feels, I think that's like that's very based in in watch any any TikTok nothing. marketing of a book and ever. But the marketing comes so secondary. I don't know though. Like think of the door thing, right? The door book we read. We all agreed that she probably thought about somebody fucking a door and then built a whole story off of it. We all agreed on that. Yeah. I feel like there's so many times where somebody's just like, um, a really angry man meets a really happy girl. Okay, how do I build Grumpy a story sunshine. around that? You know what I mean? Like, I think that's where it all always starts. I don't think so. Because think about, th- do you have book ideas? Like, yeah. you have, you have, how did those, how were those born? That's a good question. How so, like, they born? I'll, g- I'll give you Mine an Mine start with themes, actually. So themes. Mine almost always start with, like, all right, environment, I care a lot about environmentalism. How can I build a story that, goes um, around yeah that's a okay so i usually start with themes so for my book um flight risk if you haven't read it el de pinto on amazon um it i thought of the like the situation that is the twist in the book right and i was like what would you fucking do if this happened okay and that's the entire book was built around that. i got you i have done you that, for did it that way too, but i but i've but seen I'm a saying, lot like, of i feel like as a creative person that's like how ideas are born sure that's but true. i'm saying that's i true. feel like a lot of books are relying on the trope to keep you hooked yeah. rather than the plot i also think a lot of non-creative people are starting to write more books it and goes they're back just to taking tropes uh, yes it goes back to the know. over the fast fashion producing i think a lot of people are watching a lot of stuff on TikTok or a lot of like these things and people are like, oh, I can write a book. Like people will read a book about like this romance. I'll be like, I can write a book about that and like are just doing it. I guess, I guess, I think about the green I guess man. the reason I don't agree with this is because I don't see a significant change in books over time. That's fair. I also okay. will like, say, I, I don't like know the, enough. The tropes are, yeah. like if I read a book the from 2005 and I read a book from 2020, I don't feel the difference. See, this is where I want to say I don't have I enough think I knowledge do. because I, nen- I didn't read romance until this podcast, so I don't know enough about it. I'm just going off of what but I see online. I also don't read as much. I, that, like, I wonder if this is like in the contemporary romance genre. That's what I'm, I'm saying. That's what I'm trying to so say. I don't I'm read saying. as It's probably often. just me. It's, I've, I've noticed it, and so now I can't unsee but it, I, especially yeah. those pictures. You remember those pictures the are pictures happening? With the pictures with the little arrows, arrows. And they're like, oh, Force proximity. Yes. I see sunshine. Those. I see those. One bed trope. Da, da, da. It's all these tropes, but, but you're I not like telling. Okay. So you're telling me it's working. Because, well, now I'm now it's like if I see something in there that I know I don't like. Understood. But I think people are right. My opinion yeah. is they are taking all their favorite tropes yep. and they're building the story around the tropes rather than the plot. I just have to agree with so like, it just I don't feels, know. It's an intuition. It feels like know. the story is secondary to the tropes that are being thrown into it. Do you feel like you're reading not as good of stories these no, days? No, the stories are fine, but yeah. it just feels like that's my point is that I don't see a difference in like the, the I, story, I feel the a story. difference in the marketing sense. I feel a difference in like it's not I'm not getting as many five stars in these moments of these like contemporary romances. But because I think it's just that's, that. But I, so I that's get a different that that's a different point. I get that marketing comes later, but marketing is completely changed. And I think people are seeing that it's working more. So they're building their so stories. So there are people who are marketing books they haven't even read yet or haven't even saying. written no, yet. No, but, but I, the, the point that I think is, uh, that I think is really valuable is that I think more books are getting picked up as like viral or like yes. people are interested in that they probably normally wouldn't have been due to the trope marketing. That's what sure. I'm saying. Yeah. But I don't know if the store, I don't, I don't, I don't agree that the stories are written around the tropes. 
I, I have a hard time. I think time. I've read a couple at the story. I'm not saying all books in general. I'm yeah, saying yeah. there have been some outliers I, where I feel like the tropes come first mm-hmm. and the plot comes second. And, and that's just my opinion. Yeah, you don't have to change your no, opinion no. for mine. I haven't even read I, them and I agree with you. But just based on the things like I've that. seen and the way people talk about books and stuff, I'm just like, people are just making stories. Because I just think it's hard working. to do that. I don't. You just I start, think it's pretty easy. Yeah, now. you just start with like, okay, I want it to be. I don't but know. But maybe that's trope. just my brain, like not being. And you kind of did it with the Green Man a little bit, like being no, like we came up with. The she story. didn't give any tropes for the Green Man, but, but, but you were like, tropes. you were talking about other books that are successful right now, being like, all right, that everybody. No, and their I was mother saying that is writing a book that has everything like, is a monster book now. And so like, you started with a monster fucking, trope, like that's no, that's yes, a fucking genre. That's a genre. Yeah, yeah, but it's still like the the monster monster is a subgenre the green man thing i feel like is a trope it's not a trope I don't it's, know. D- it's not anywhere else it's not a trope hasn't even been made green yet man? i feel like we haven't made alien. it yet i don't know either well, way you saw the, what's successful and everybody's talking about and you're like we can make a story off of this ridiculous thing i think people I do think, that with tropes i think too. people have a story and they go okay these are the tropes that are successful how do i i'm sure that these? happens too that's what i'm saying so i feel like you're giving but me, i don't think that the you're story giving me is, tropes first story second so then i'm going in there happening. only looking for the tropes i think that happens i don't know like what's what's that book that came out a couple of years back that everyone was mad because online it was marketed with certain tropes, and it wasn't in the actual book. Oh, I know what book you're talking about. That was was it Light Lark? Mm-hmm. Oh, I think it was Light Lark. I think it was Light Lark. Yeah. I think so you're she right. made a marketing campaign about <laughs> tropes of her book, and then the, the book would, came yeah. out. Those tropes yeah. were no longer there. That's crazy. So again, you're telling me your tropes are the ones you're doing, yeah. but I'm not seeing that in the story. Right. Well, that girl's a fucking idiot. <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm not going on her character. Yeah, she's I'm just saying. Doing fine. The book itself was marked that way. She would have been doing fine regardless. She's rich. Okay. Okay. Here we um, go. <laughs> so what tropes are... Okay. Do I love? Yeah. Go. You go first. I have my list. So I'll tell you which I'm going to go... I'm going to go really... I'll tell you that too. I don't... I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, I think... I think blanketed, like, like there are some things that I, like, really, really like, and there's some things that are super, super, that, like, everyone likes, right? And then there's oh, some things tell that tell me are, like, what super, everyone likes. I would love to like, hear Like, enemies to lovers. Like, I think okay. a lot of people like that. enemies to lovers. Sure. I don't, I don't mind friends to lovers. Not my favorite. I hate grumpy sunshine. So um, if you say grumpy sunshine. I love grumpy, grumpy sunshine. sunshine. That's a very common one. That's right? a very common one. That's my least favorite one. Niche. Love the amnesia trope. Yeah, really? love the amnesia. Trope. There's so, so many Lifetime that? movies, not Lifetime Hallmark movies that are like. Love. That. The, there's no books that have been, like when I'm telling I'm you, they're not I, done well. They're I'm surprised. Re- re- very, very. There's so many done movies. Well. They're so bad. I don't the know vow. Why. There's so many movies of the amnesia um, trope. That's so funny. She hit a telephone. Pole. I <laughs> so a lot of people love like the um one bed trope. Yeah. Why? I don't love the one bed trope because like. I, I never understood, like, why it's such a big deal to sleep in the same bed as somebody. I can't believe that is a trope. Can we just talk about, like, it's a bed that you're sleeping in. That's what who I mean. Like, it's just, so, like, who no, gives a shit? I think, How is that a trope? No, what I think makes the trope work is that there's there's tension already between them. That's where it makes sense. It if it was two trope. people who have no connection at all, sure, fine, dude, we're all passing out, no big deal. But if you have the underlying sexual tension, you're not going to want to be next to them because you don't want to like but, give like, away that's a great opportunity it's to angst. like to to get it on that's not what everybody never, wants there's angst. i know and i don't i, I just i don't i, I don't love connect angst. to it in that way really? but angst is however i just can't believe it's a trope however i do like a bed trope like how often is this happening? love what, the what nightmare kind? trope oh love the, or not, i can't but not sleep nec- unless you're next to me kind not, of trope. not necessarily nightmare trope but like um got hurt woke up how long have i been out <laughs> <laughs> Guy says three days, five hours, twelve minutes. minutes. Yeah, like <laughs> that's the the, that's that's the niche. Like <laughs> we want to talk about bed tropes. That's the fucking bed trope we want. You guys are gonna open my mind, like my world. Um, to also, also thing. that could lead to the who hurt you? Who hurt? The, oh. Not just who hurt you, but like who do I have to kill? Who do I have to kill? Who yeah, hurt you? it's not just that. That's oh a good my one. God, I hate this. <laughs> or like in the vampire world, like who who fed from you? Like that. Like, Ooh. Specific. You get into it. Mm-hmm. That's where those I'm I'm learning. do. I'm learning a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, another one I liked uh, is the Hey, my ex is over there. Pretend you're dating me. Oh, uh, pretend dating. Fake dating is great. I love fake. Dating. I do like fake dating because I do think that there. I like the real world implication of it. Yeah. 
I think they're. I think there so many is, of these tropes. I'm like, how often are these things happening that you end up sharing a one? I've there's and definitely I was like, oh, been that times. To Mike and I actually am. There's definitely somebody. been times where either a friend or somebody or whatever was like, I need you to pretend to be my boyfriend. That happens, but like not or in girlfriend an, in like an intricate. It's more like we're out at a bar and I'm like, that's can you I'm pretend saying. it? Oh, okay. Yeah, like yeah. yeah. Of because like some of those fake dating, but but then it's but, like but, I need you to come to this wedding with me and then do this whole thing with me and pretend. Well, yeah, but which but, leads to sharing happens. a bed. No, that does happen. That happens. No, but it's always like the that same. That does happen. Like we need to pretend to be dating this whole time and then we're gonna share but a no, bed. No, the and problem is so fucking. What ends up happening in the in the what ends up happening in the books is like they just plan to do it for a night, right? And then. And, continue, and one then built on another yes lie, exactly and, and then like the mom's like oh you have to come to dinner and it yeah, like turns into this they're a bit in love that's a big trip what is too. that like uh like they're not meant to be together Roman like, and Juliet Roman and Juliet or okay, it's okay. like sometimes like uh, in contemporary or fantasy in general I kind of general. I don't know no, 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 I'm read saying that. do you like that in contemporary or fantasy I like it in both okay I don't know that I've read it but I think I would like that more because that to me is like all right it, what's gonna it happen it adds the angst it yeah. adds the, the the conflict yeah i think more can happen outside i don't that. dislike it yeah, i don't know not, if i don't know if it's like a for immediately i mm. think the one i would grab first is probably enemies to lovers i love the fighting the bickering and bantering is like my favorite thing i like an enemies to lovers if i have to pick for romance i like yeah. that more than i like like a grumpy sunshine <laughs> yeah, i mostly, like grumpy sunshine most times grumpy sunshine is just, just bullies i like enemies to lovers too because like you're actually like i say i love characters but you're actually exploring like a character changing exactly and like becoming something yeah. else which i yeah. appreciate and like a lot mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. um i really i can tell you what i really don't like and that i will absolutely will never read <laughs> is i can't do any type of like coach student yeah teacher student teacher student, talked student. Talked i've yeah. talked about that before but like it is so, like age gap I will I don't do age gap at like I'll do an age gap maybe like post 25 like if the girl if the girl is like 25 or older I could maybe do it as long as it's not like a 20 year age gap I think I go up to like I don't know so it then depends what's the on the story I guess what's the difference between a professor who's 28 and a student who's 21 is it the, the power, di- power dynamic? dynamic? That's yeah, what I was going to ask. It's yeah. the ickiness of like I the actual that. scenario. I, t- I couldn't agree more. What if I just it's like hear you say it. not their professor? He just is a professor. Mm, like let's question. say he, he works at the school she's at, but mm. he's not her teacher. Mm. <laughs> really? Mm. I thought that's like a, I think that's, that's a okay. I think that's okay. Mm. I just don't like things set in school. Okay. College though? any I'd like grad school <laughs> I, I like i just don't i mean I've, I've obviously read a couple of like fmcs where there were teachers or even like maybe a, even the main male character being a teacher but like i don't i don't like teachers i, mm. I don't like teachers they shape our young kids yeah i the, i you know what i think it is i have a fucking hard on for the education system you have a hard i totally yeah, I, fucking, I, 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 I fucking i don't really go with it system. and i what agree is that? what do you, Hold on. I went to my fucking niece's graduation that, and the orders. board of education, they basically made it about them the entire yeah. time. And one of them goes, I know I've never taught before, but and I'm like, and you're making the rules for oh, teachers. I, th- I think the education system it's should be trash. should be actually demolished down to its fucking yes. Yes. like bare bones. The yep. bare bo- like the foundation should be mm-hmm. dynamited. Like I'm talking about fully agreed redone from the ground yes. up just rebuilt Teach from the some ground real up. life fucking things like okay. not even not even a scrap of what we learn in school should be re like yep. put into this new okay. like i and i I, I have a hard right. time that's not topic we're on <laughs> no, 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 but i'm saying like i just don't i don't think i that's like i don't think i like wa- like i don't like reading teachers because i just remind me how much i fucking hate the education system there's like a couple of things that really give me a fucking like aneurysm in my brain it's corporate greed and it's like the education system <laughs> like those are like but one and two. hold on because you like the trope of office i love office romance but that's nothing to do with nothing it's corporate with. You corporate boss. Greed. Okay, what about a boss and a and an employee? I know I do love billion- okay. I thank do you. love billionaire romance. Thank you. <laughs> I do love a billionaire romance. You also love you. You don't like military, but you love a. I know there's <laughs> there's some weird shit. But She's teacher is where you person. teacher is where we draw the line. I love <laughs> I love um, damsel in distress too. Yeah. Really? No. Yeah. Let You're supposed to be a feminist. <laughs> no, but I don't mind if it's the other way around too. If he's in trouble and she saves him. What would that be yeah. called? What's the opposite of a damsel? A dam. Dam in distress. 
settlement in distress? I, yeah, I don't know. I like it bad. both ways. Like okay. save the other type thing. To be honest, like I do too. I like when people get saved. Hmm. Yeah. Like those Almost moments. like near death. Yeah. I like like those moments too. Mm-hmm. I like that too. I think that they can build a lot of tension in the romance because it like sometimes it makes them realize something or it like mm-hmm. it just brings out more emotion mm-hmm. when that happens. I agree with that. Okay. What's your next one that you're... Um, another one that has book within a book. Fucking hate that. You like that? I'm not saying I like that. I'm just, I'm bringing up topics. Okay. We're going to oh, talk about this in I the villain book. Well. I wrote this down. I hate when a romance book talks about romance books because I think it's I a hate, cop out. That's too. different. That's, that's mentioned. They do that it's, in it's villain. Like I hate when someone <laughs> mentions Taylor Swift in a book. Like I I'd, fucking hate it. I hate it. But I'm oh, saying like you're if saying, a book oh, sorry. itself right. okay, okay, has okay. another book within it. What was that book we read? That you kept saying a book. It's a book. book within it was a book. The Nothing Man, I think. The Nothing Man, yeah. I think those are cool. Was, I do, what yeah, about okay. like That's Fourth different. Wing Sorry. with like sh- like the script at the, the top? At the top. That's kind of cool. I don't mind it wasn't stuff a like full that. Book, though. Like, See, I don't like anything at the top of a chapter. I it doesn't. I don't read it at all. I, I don't read I, it. I, I, I gotta don't know be honest. Fucking I about skip it. right over. Even Iron Prince, like the the italicized stuff that they were like. Oh no! It, I don't even know that it was like a book, but I just skipped right over it. I was like, I don't it read like it. Backstory. I don't look at it. I hate when I hate when they say. When I listen to the audiobook, I listen to it. Um, <laughs> like last week, like give me a fucking like or no, when they say when they give me a date and not say like last week. You know what I mean? Because like the like, let's say chapter one was like, oh yeah, December third, twenty twenty three, yeah, 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 and then oh, yeah. chapter two is December twenty ninth, twenty twenty four. I gotta like, go fucking go back and shit. Yeah. And look at this. I don't remember what the fucking dates are. Yeah, I tell me in proximity to the last chapter. Yeah, I'm with you on that. And that's not a trope, but that's just Book a pet peeve. Enough. Ones that I I can tolerate, but like they're not my favorites. They're like dual timelines. I think mm. those have to be done a certain way mm. for me to be cool with it. Like, well, for Forget Me Not, it wasn't Is the that same a trope? time. I would think. Trope or a. I guess it's a device. Sub-genre. It's a device. I guess right? it's, it's a not plot much device. Of a genre. Um, yeah, it's true. Yeah. I, I, feel like like I, I feel like I would call it a plot device more than a trope. But, um, but yeah, anyway, yeah. regardless of the semantics, I don't. I feel like I wouldn't like it, but I don't. I can't remember a book where I did. Forget me not. You liked it, right? I I was cool because it wasn't at the same time. Mm. It was like mm-hmm. actually that's not true. I think there's a couple of books where I've really fucking hated it. I hate it in shows, but I think in books I don't mind it. <gasps> I think I don't mind it more in shows than I do in. Books. I feel like in shows, like uh, there was a show we watched too, and now I can't fucking remember it. Where you weren't, you didn't know. Was it Wheel of Time? Witcher. The Witcher. I that know. like fucked that me. Is, See, yeah. yeah. For the first three episodes, I was like, why does this feel wrong? Yeah. And I realized we're jumping timelines without knowing we were jumping timelines. That, I think that's the difference. I need to know that there's a timeline shift. If you're giving me a book where you're just like going back in time without telling me or a show, yeah, I'm like, I agree. Like, do it right. <laughs> Obviously, I hate pregnancy. Yeah. I hate the pregnancy trope. I hate the secret baby trope. I hate the unwanted pregnancy trope. I just don't like any. So anytime somebody gets pregnant, you're over it. I don't, with you. I don't hate it the way that other people do. Um, Secret Baby, I think you kind of know going into the book. So, like, I think you naturally wouldn't really read it. Yeah. Um, that's not true because Creature Cafe, we had no fucking clue that that guy was going to get pregnant. That's true. <laughs> I hate that. That my, was a real shock. <laughs> my real complaint about pregnancy trope in books is not so much the pregnancy itself, but the if, like, mm. there is no work in the character up. development of being like i really want a family i've always wanted a family like if there's no mention exactly. of like let's build a life together and like this is what i envision my life yep. to be like yep. and then you just get slapped with the pregnancy in That's there surprise pregnancy right no it's a it, not nah, no. not so much the surprise pregnancy no. but like an epilogue pregnancy or yeah. end of book pregnancy yeah. like yeah. It just kind of feels like it. What it feels to me like it's like saying vision, that yeah. everybody's happily ever after is it's getting babies. married with kids. That's mm-hmm. a good. Point. And I don't think that that is the reality for majority of people yep. anymore. Amen. I've always felt that um, the pregnancy trope for me feels, and I felt it because it comes from my telenovela days, right? Mm. Every time she gets pregnant, the the couple themselves loses the focus. Oh, it goes to the baby. Yeah, 
no, nah, I don't like it because I'm here for the couple. I'm here for yeah. for their growth. Yeah. When you bring a baby and now they're gonna kidnap the baby and it's gonna be a whole thing. I have seen and some crazy I, baby shit. I don't like. I love that. Because then it just turns into like the baby has to be all protected and right. I have to hide the baby from you and run away to a Mexican village. Like, yeah. I'm like not into it. I I like that with animals. Anytime you bring in a cat or a dog or anything, not hurt that animal. my me- my even like a fucking red rising. And it sucked because we read the dramatic version of it and you can hear like dogs getting beat in the back. Yep, and I'm I like, like that one bit. And I'm like, this is fucking killing me. Like anytime somebody would like, kick a dog or something. I kind of blacked out during that. The second you bring in an animal, my attention is just like, is the animal OK? Yep. I don't love single parent books. And I know that's like kind of contentious, but they're not I, I like if I read it in the description, I have to be like in I have to be in a very specific mood you for mean it. Like the single dad trope. Yeah. Oh, really? I'm not, I'm not mad about it. I, I, I have to be in a very, very spe- I have to really want to read the story. Yeah. Like, what I, is don't, it? I don't mind single dad tropes. I don't mind mm. them at all. Yeah, I think it's single they're, parent they're in general. It doesn't matter. Like mom or dad. Yeah, no. But I'm saying like, but in most romances, I would read the guy. Because I don't... Because she's a nanny and she comes in and it's the whole thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Every time that we do, like, one of these episodes, all I think is just, like, man, they have read so many more books than me than yeah, I will ever read in my lifetime. Yeah, you have your fantasy ones that you're not I don't even of. read that much. I just, like, I just... Uh, I'm, like, I'm going to try to think of some fantasy ones. Um, I'm, like, I just kind of admire you, too. I mean, the the chosen one trope, I really don't... I don't done hate... Well. I don't hate it the way that other people I fucking, fucking hate it. I love the chosen one trope. It depends. I, on I really don't. do. Like for Iron Prince, it's different because his chosen one trope wasn't like, a, mm-hmm. I don't want to do this. I'm not, me- I don't want to be the one. Right. You know, like it's not like Harry who's like, you know, sad just, about it. I love or Neo, it. Or who yeah. has the weight of the world on his shoulders. I love it. It gives me a reason to root for some, like, I, I feel like, I don't know. I just really enjoy it. Every, yeah, like what, you know, you're going know. on a good adventure when you have a chosen one. You're like, all right. Uh, yeah. I don't hate it the way that other people hate it. I will say I do fucking hate. And I've talked about this before, especially in fourth wing is the, and if this is a spoiler for fourth wing, so three, me, yeah, two, one, fucking hate the dead brother. Just kidding. Ah, not, I knew you were going to say that. Hate the dead brother. Just kidding. Not trope. It fucking drives it. Is drives me lot? up yeah I, brother yeah. specifically yeah well no spoiler um, for red rising the fucking twin yep. being a twin in the end like it's always like a brother i guess a oh, sibling it's always a sibling yeah that's a good point. i really fucking hate the mom too like being like i hate i, hate, I hate the government that we know we I, you know it feels it does sometimes feel like an allegory but i just fucking hate the government i hate anything that has to do with like corrupt government we already have a fucking corrupt government i don't want to read about it okay um, I hate it too. Now you hate, I hate also it. <laughs> don't like the um, it was all a dream type of thing, like dream scenarios. Does that still happen? Remember how so. big that was back in the day? Yeah. Like even like I don't outside know if I've of ever books. read that. Well, outside of books, I feel like what is it that about? I just remember being in writing classes and people being like, "Whatever you do, don't end this with like in the this dream." Even in film classes, they'd be like, "Do not end this with somebody waking up." And I'm like, "Is that like a common thing?" But apparently, I think it was when people go to that. film school. Like a lot of people will make videos, and then a, a professor said something to me that like resonated with me. Before they were like, "Why does it have to be in a dream? Why can't it just be what it is?" And I'm like, "That's a really fucking good point. Like, why do they people? Why can't it just be fake and that be it?" Like, in the same in the same vein as the um. Gover- corrupt government hate like a corrupt kingdom mm. like bad king prince is good i mean that is it's all just, of I know, those it just feels like uh, it feels like the same thing it's over literally and over game and over of thrones and, over. and everything else that you no but love. like for fantasy like it just it feels like i just i can't read it anymore i've read so fucking many of them because i don't they are decent books i just can't read them anymore i'm bored by you them just read too much of them I think so. I, I think I have. I think you read sl- yeah, I think you stopped. I think you're more in the. I'm in fucking space romance. now, baby. Yeah. <laughs> still in space? Smutty. I space? haven't read. I haven't read books in a while, Unless honestly. You were like on, um, what tropes in your weird world are you digging? Like in your weird like fucking space? Alien? Yeah. Um, a lot of like I I I don't know if it, they're necessarily tropes that I like like, but I will say they're tropes that I see a lot that I like the books that they're in. Um, I definitely see a lot of like slave like selling yeah i don't like that and like where like humans are Mm -hmm. like taken from earth and like i don't know i don't know if i necessarily love that like (laughs) particular scenario but i see it a lot in the alien books because i guess like why else would you be in space Mm. if you weren't taken and then sold i think aliens are inherently going to be bad no 
I don't either. I don't either. I don't and I feel know. like every movie and everything. No, I think the humans just always want to have some kind of bad guy to fight so that all their money going into the military is worth it. Mm. Yeah. Um, I definitely see a lot of like damsel in distress in space. <laughs> um, I like, I actually you really are literally like in space. <laughs> the ice planet barbarian like trope of, of, um, I guess like back to non-civilization. I don't know what that would be called. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. I like not that. apocalyptic, but I, I actually liked that a lot. I kind of miss our because it's like a different lifestyle. I miss the barbarians. I miss that vibe. Any other books that you've been reading that you think I would enjoy that are weird like that? I mean, I definitely have. I definitely. I, really I want to go to a different. I would like to go to a different planet for one okay. of our books. So. Maybe I have a couple out. of alien ones that are short that I think maybe okay. would be successful. I'm down for a new planet. Um, I, I love Faded Mates. That's I know my you do. yeah. Faded Mates. I think that's a, a hit or miss for me. I think it depends on how it's done and how early it comes in the book. It can be done badly. Like if it's like <laughs> if it's revealed maybe midway through the book, it's like our midpoint. I'm cool with it. But if it's like the first third, I'm like nah. Let's, you can't. Let's turn this on its head a little. I actually love a Faded Mate bond that's like hidden. Yeah, you like guys you know how I feel about faded mates. You so. don't know for there's a reason why it's like blocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. No, you know, you know how I feel about faded mates. But they like each other. But like, there's something like they're there's drawn together. About it, they can't understand. But they don't know why, yeah. and like, yeah. they deny it, or like yeah. there's some there's some type of trauma around the the mating. There's a uh, it's a not just like a telenovela. I don't know if it's telenovela, but it's a series on. Vix, which is like the the Netflix of the novelas, and it's that it's like she's reincarnated, um, and in her past life he was like her lover. So they're in this life they're so drawn, but they don't understand mm. why, and that she's getting like memories of her past life. It's really cool. I like the idea of that. I really do. I it's just every time I read Faded Mates, I'm like, Ugh. yeah, I think it's the way it's done. Yeah. If it's built on a good foundation, I'm down. I like but how if they did it in Bride with just like mates in general. But you see how it came out towards the end. And it also wasn't faded. It was just like... They're just mates. Yeah. That I don't mind. That's Chosen like one mates. step away from a breeding fucking trope. Um, thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, we told you earlier on. I'm going to tell you one more time. Go over to our YouTube. <laughs> subscribe. Uh, Erica said that uh, if you subscribe to our channel... or No, Erica said that if we tell you to subscribe, you have to subscribe. She said that you would do it, right? Was that what you were saying? You're like, yeah, we'll tell them to subscribe. We'll do it. Something like that. You said that. Yeah, you said that people are really easily influenced. I think you said that. <laughs> no, Thank I'm you. So sure I said that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. We love you so much. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.